to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen Well We are Fixing to leave this truck stop we got eight miles to go to our delivery and as you can probably see it's fairly foggy out here so we're leaving a little bit early because it's only like eight miles so it shouldn't take us more than 15 minutes to get there right so we're gonna I'm kind of leaving about half an hour early so trying to get there early we're not late. I hate being late. Oh man, this is hard to see if vehicles are coming from that end over there. It really is. Oh well, I gotta make my turn. At least at this uh, intersection here, Check we got four way stops, so everybody should be coming to a stop, so. That's right. There we go. Now let's go see if we can uh, find this place where we're going. Hopefully, it's not going to be too much of a hassle getting in there. Take the entrance to the right on I-65 South US 52 East. Yeah. Within 100 feet. Take the entrance to the right on I-65 South US 52 East. I don't know what these people are waiting on, but they're definitely not making a turn it looks like, but I want to go south, well, I need to in order to get to my delivery place, right? That's right. There we go, let's get on to I-65 and gotta go a couple of miles on here and then well maybe just one mile and then uh, we'll be at the 865 465 split we gotta go on uh, 465 a little bit east and then we'll be at our delivery place very close to it anyways I'm gonna make a couple of I guess a couple of uh, city streets or whatever and then we'll be there here we are at our delivery place this is a huge humongous place not sure what it is but we got all kinds of ID cards not only that one we got big one like this too <laughs> got a clear high security I guess I guess we're supposed to make that on but we'll do that a little bit later but uh, he sort of told me to go all the way around and then there in the back there there's somewhere some security or not security some dogs over there some huge dogs he said so I guess we'll see if we can find them over there well guys here we are at our delivery place and uh, I just have to show you the massive load that we are delivering so let's take a look where is it who oh, all the way over there <laughs> Let's go check it out. Wow, this is a massive load, isn't it? I think this has got to be one of the biggest load I've ever delivered. Oh, three pallets. Some kind of control switch for something. Not exactly sure what it is, but it's nailed to the floor. <laughs> wow. The whole trailer is empty and I didn't deliver nothing else. This is the only delivery I'm doing. Anyways, we gotta go back in the dock. Alrighty guys, here we are. We just finished getting our three skids off. And we did get ourselves a reload, so... Which is not too far from here. That's right. Let's see if I can get back on the interstate. 
they don't. I don't know which way we really need to go. GPS tells me to go that way, but I came in from that way, so I'm sort of thinking that I should be able to get back on to the interstate that way, so. Oh, it looks like we got two turning lanes here, so. I'm gonna stay on the outside one. And that's the goal anyways. Anyways, we got a reload out of Lebanon, Indiana up here which is not too far from here. So we'll go up there and do a trailer switch if the load is ready. And then we're heading to Toronto. That's exactly what I've been wanting to do for a while, so. So yeah, that's good. Here we go. It looks like the GPS has decided it found a way anyways to, uh, to get me where I wanted to go. Here we go, towards Chicago. We gotta be in the left lane, that's right. Yeah, that's exactly where we just delivered, there to the right. That's it. Apparently that's a science place. That's where all them science people go to work. At least a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Let's see how we can get on there. Well, I guess we got to slow down. It says ramp speed 30, so we want to slow her down. Yeah, we don't want to tip our truck over, do we? Not really. Anyways, we got 16 more miles to go and then we'll be at our uh, pickup place already. So that's really close to where we delivered. So that's awesome. Hopefully the load will be ready there for us. That would be even more awesome. And I could probably be in Toronto tonight. Yeah, if that would be awesome if I could do that. Master stick, here we come. <laughs> yeah, I would love it if I could go to Master Steak. And this time I think we're going to take you inside. We'll show you. That's right. Let's see what we can do. Well, 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 guys, here we are back on the road. We only got a bit of a stack of paperwork. Yeah, luckily all of that has been faxed to the uh, broker, so I don't have to worry about any of that. And the load was ready. Yeah, we're happy about that. That's for sure. I'm extremely happy about that, actually. And I gotta go straight back where I just came from. <laughs> gotta go straight back to Indianapolis and then uh, pretty much go by the place again where we just came from. Because that's the only way we can go up to I-69. That's right. Go up to I-69 and take that straight north. And we will be crossing at uh, Sarnia, Ontario. Which on this side of the border is Port Huron, Michigan. You guys saw me there uh, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of two weeks ago. That's right. I didn't actually cross the border, but uh, I was uh, right there in Port Huron delivering my load. So, yeah, that's where we're going. We got uh, 522 miles to go make our delivery well we don't actually deliver this load we just take it to our terminal so we'll be there probably around 9 9 30 tonight eastern time probably now we'll drop our trailer and we'll go to master steak that's right we'll go to master steak that's for sure well, i'll probably go to the flying j and fuel up take me a shower and then probably go to master steak no matter what, that's uh, our plan for tonight. That's right. Let's put the hammer down. Let's make it uh, to Toronto. Hey, ready, guys? Here we are at the uh, Sarnia border. Yeah, I don't know what's going on up here. Bunch of people parked over here. 
on the shoulder. Not sure why they're parked there on the shoulder, but they are. They are parked there on the shoulder. I guess they're wanting to guys to come different direction. I don't know where they want the guys to go, but. I think I'm gonna go in this lane over here. Pay my fee to go over across the bridge. I think it's like 1625 or 1650 to go across this bridge. It's a lot of money, that's all I know. That's right. Alright, let's see if this four-wheeler is gonna be paying his rent. There is fee. There we go. Oh, we're next on the line. Let's see how much it's going to be. Thank you. Here we go guys, 16.25, well, that's what I thought, yeah, that's what I thought it was, I haven't been across here in such a long time I don't really remember exactly how much things are, you know. big bridge up here and it's kind of foggy today but that's the way it is I should be across the border by now already you know I really should be I got delayed because the border crossing hadn't been set up I don't know if it was the broker being lazy today or whose fault it was but some odd reason my border crossing wasn't set up so too bad it is so foggy out here today otherwise you could pro would probably be able to see some of these beautiful lights that they got on this bridge you know well, you might still be able to see some of them you see some of them blue lights up there well they change colors sometimes you know it's gorgeous here at night when uh, when it's not foggy like this, but right now it's kind of too foggy to really see it, you know. You see a few of them blue lights Crossing up there. Border. But Entering Ontario. Not too many. Not too many. In one kilometer. Well, what this guy's trying on. to do here Lake beside Pure, me here. He's Highway 402. Trying to keep in the center lane there. I don't know. Maybe he has a fast lane. Fast load. Maybe he's allowed to be in that center lane. Yeah, he must be fast load. Yep, that's what it says, fast load there in the uh, center lane. Yeah, looks like a long ass lineup over here today. Yeah, probably you want to be spending half an hour up here in the lineup. Well, that's all right, I guess. You just have to deal with that. I suppose here we are coming to a stop so I guess I'm just gonna cut the video and then we'll see you guys on the other side we are across the border that's right yeah, it's fairly foggy it's almost like ice drizzle or something like that or a little drizzling going on there but we are across the border finally Felt like it took forever, but it wasn't my fault. I was ready to cross the border probably over an hour ago already. Continue on this road for 248 kilometers. There you go. We got 266 kilometers to up to our terminal in uh, Mississauga. 
so that's gonna be at least two and three quarter hours worth of driving up to there so here we go speed warning yeah there we go now we got 70 kilometer an hour speed limit now we're gonna put the hammer down that's right I'm gonna try and get some master stake in tonight yet if we can possibly do that here we are at master steak look at that there's actually a full truck with the trailer in there and it's a bobtail over there i'm over here there's another tractor over there so we are going to go in this place I actually got a bar on this side of this section there and it looks like it's pretty full in there looks like there's a lot of people in there but hey that's all right gonna give you guys a little bit of a look on what this place looks like yeah, it's one of my favorite hot spots to go when I come to Toronto so I've been wanting to show you guys yeah look at that it says open 24 hours I don't think that they are actually open 24 hours but maybe they are changing it that's what the sign looks like when you pull up to it so let's go in and uh, see what kind of goodies we can get. Here we go guys. Let's go inside. I hope we don't get copyright on the music. Look at that. We got some steaks over here. Some shrimp. Yeah, we got some shrimp. Oh, wow, look at that. Even pie, eh? Yeah, we got all kinds of menus up there. I usually get this one right here at the corner. The porter hose. That's a nice one. A little different over here than it is at some other places but we gotta order here and then wait for our meal to come anyways i'm hoping that i'm not gonna get copyrighted on this music that they got up here because they got some music in this restaurant up here but the way it works is you go up there you order your food and uh they'll give you a uh, number mine is 32 and I just kind of wait till they uh, call my number and that's when I get my food. Alrighty guys, here we are. Have a look at this. I told you guys we were gonna show you the steak. So we got some salad, some dinner roll with some butter. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, we're gonna get to eat. We are done. We have had ourselves a very nice steak and I am really hoping that the uh, background music is not going to interfere with me putting the video together and uploading it to YouTube so hopefully we won't get a copyright on it and that way uh, you guys are going to be able to see Master Stick from the inside I don't think I've ever shown it that much but this time we did yeah and I really hope that I can actually use it there so if you guys enjoyed today's vlog, please give me a good thumbs up, share the video, because you never know, somebody else might like the video as well. And if they do, maybe encourage them to subscribe to my channel. And if you are the one subscribing, we love to have you on board. We got all kinds of interesting videos up all the time, so you never know what to expect. With that being said, I am tired and it is ready for me to hit the bed. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall.